Hey guys, Clumsy here. Part 2 of our Grand Utopia Tour. Line U1. Go and check out the previous episode if you haven't seen it yet. Part 1 of this route. Because we are a bit of in a hurry here. Because we are running late. The next stop is uh, the My Godness Tour. I think there might be a statue there. A statue there or something. And here is the magic roundabout. Oh my goodness, how do you even... Magic roundabout, yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> how do you even go around this place? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, might be this one. Oh my goodness. My goodness, the lever fails. It is literally having that magic roundabout layout, I think. Uh, I think I might have gotten it wrong though. No, it's good. I'm good. The GPS is the one that got confused. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, let's continue. Should be 12.02 at that next stop, but uh, as you can see on the clock on the bus, it's 12.07 already. Not the best time. It's okay. That is not our priority. Our priority is the sightseeing. My goodness, tower. Is that the Eiffel Tower, basically? My go tower. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is an amazing view. That might be the thumbnail. Okay. Now it makes sense. Awesome stuff. In case you're seeing this kind of video for the first time, don't be alarmed. We are taking passengers in, but no one is actually inside. You'll have to play with your imagination for a bit. That's one of the limitations here in this bus mod for ETS2. But so far, I'm enjoying it immensely. So good. Alright, next stop is Avenue de la... Europe Nord. Okay, I think I have it mapped correctly. Let's go outside and have a look at this. Uh, there it is. The quote unquote My Godness Tower. And about the, what about that one? You guys know what that is? Is that a, um, uh, an iconic landmark as well in France, maybe? 42 passengers in the bus. Didn't even know we could fit 42 passengers in this Carosa bus. We have a 90 kilometer speed limit here, so let's step on it. Is it? Yeah, okay, that's good. Slow it down bit by bit. Ah, uh, oh, I think it's this one. Almost, I almost missed my stop, guys. I was enjoying the scenery so much. Okay, all aboard. Uh, that, this is the route that I'm familiar with. Yeah, all those flags and then you see the My Godness Tower in front like that. Good. Close the doors, please. Thank you. Twelve oh five. Just five minutes late. It's nothing big. <laughs> oh, that's that's great actually. Europe Avenue. Which makes sense with all these flags. Cool. So there is a north and then a south. Oh, look at that guy. Best place to take a photo of the tower. So there is the south bus stop, which should be coming across soon. I can't even <clears throat> recognize many of these flags. I suck at flags. I know that's Switzerland. That's Czech Republic. The one with the triangle, right? But you know this one? This I'm always confused between Belgium and Germany. I guess that's one of those because one is horizontal and one is vertical, right? What is this one? Italy? I really like it though. That's all the flags. <clears throat> is that France? 
ones on the, on the farther end, farthest end there, I guess so. Right. That in, looking good, six minutes late. Ah, oh, it's no biggie. <laughs> because your driver is enjoying the tour so much around Utopia. That is utterly late. Oh, let's go and nope, didn't see anything. Wasn't us. <clears throat> what is the speed limit here? Okay, I'm just going to speed a teeny mini bit just so we can catch up to our timetable. This looks like there's a church coming up. I'm not sure actually if I map this correctly though, but yeah, it looks like that's the church right there. Even without looking at the map, it's quite obvious. <clears throat> and that actually tells something about how great the map has been made. Because if you can tell the bus stops based on the landmarks, based on the name, right? Then that's how it should be in the first place. If it's a bus stop that says airport, <laughs> then you should see a massive airport right where it's sitting. The same goes with this church. Yeah, that should be it. There's the bus stop right there flickering from a distance. <clears throat> Here we are. Beautiful. Saint Charlene. All good. Wow. Such a full house. I guess because we were so delayed, the people kind of bunched up together already. So we have 55 passengers in the bus. Not sure how they fit, but uh, looks like it's a standing room. Huh? <laughs> that works. As long as you guys are safe, hold on to the handrails, please. <clears throat> I guess social distancing is out of the equation with that kind of picture. But it's okay, Grand Utopia is fully safe away from all those things that we are going through in the real world right now. It is a utopia after all, right? So no problem if there is no social distancing in here. The next stop is Utopia. Oh, what's that? Garotera. <laughs> Did I tell you I don't know how to speak French? Is it obvious? That stopping sound is not my favorite, to be honest. I think it's when the retarder kicks in because I have the automatic retarder kicking in in my options when I when I step on the brakes. It's quite realistic that feature, but the sounds are a bit too bassy for my taste. Not sure if that's how it goes in real life though. So let me know if you have more info on this bus, Carosa bus. Utopia bus station. Yeah, this one is a bit of a question mark for me. Yeah, I think I, we have to go on the left there. Utopia bus station. I think we have to go on the roundabout, turn to the left. Because I think it's a full blown bus station and not just a bus stop. We'll have to go and tour it together. This time, I didn't actually do a free roam because I was lazy and we were running out of time. Oh, I think it might have been... Is it this one? This one? Okay, yes, yes, yes. You see the Garrotier station service. Now the question is, where the heck is that stop? Okay, it's this one. Someone's playing basketball in there. So this one is a full-blown bus stop. Bus station, rather. Quite nice. And in these instances, I think you have to choose bus stop 3 although I see people in there there's a bus on my spot so I'm hoping other stops also work well let's try it otherwise the the delay will be even more 
It's a bit of a strange line, isn't it? Usually these bus stations are the starting point or end point. But here, in our case, it's just somewhere in the middle of the route. Quite interesting design. Okay, let's see if that works, guys. Uh -huh. Let's go hit the brakes, turn that. Let's see. Okay, it worked. It worked. Good. Alright. Because if it didn't work, then it wouldn't recognize that in the overlay, as you see in the upper right. Good. Next stop is Carino Casino? Casino Royale. Ooh. Isn't that the James Bond movie? Right, this is nice though. It's a nice um it's a nice uh, twist, right? Actually having to go on a bus station. Not your typical bus stops. here before the pedestrian lane not sure why that guy is hogging the lane casino royale should be right in front of us is that literal is there an actual casino here i'm guessing it should be keep your eyes peeled guys i might miss the bus stop i do see a ferris wheel but no casino of any kind seeing any casino any bus stop so far okay i'm seeing a bus stop on the opposite side of the road and there it is okay good good all right perfect casino should be ah uh, it's probably this one right outside good how are we on time eight minutes late is it no one saw that. <laughs> Just a tad late, guys. Just a tad late. Right, off we go. But yeah, don't you miss having a proper bus, bus simulator like this. I remember the times when I really enjoyed OMC. Gave me similar feels, but... I got so frustrated with OMSI because it would just crash at some random points. It's just so unstable. It has the most hardcore bus elements, bus simulator elements. The best sounds, even the windows squeaking and whatnot. But yeah, it's just so unstable that I totally uninstalled OMSI from my PC and I have no plans of going back. Thankfully, we have this now get it as close as possible of course you can't click on the buttons you can't really do any ticketing or whatnot so that part is pretty much unsimulated but the driving itself the feel of driving a bus couple that with the tested tried and tested ets2 physics engine with semi reliable ai and beautiful maps care of the community my goodness it's perfect. Alright, so where is the next bus stop? Marina. Uh, looks like it should be this one. I'm mean, not seeing it so far. Probably when we make our right turn there. And the, the variety of buildings though, huh? Such an amazing map. I can't believe it. It's so good. Actually, it's uh, yeah. I was looking at the number of bus stops. Uh, I think we don't even have enough waypoints. That's one of the limitations as well, because the the routes that you're seeing, as I mentioned in part one, the routes that you're seeing. Oh crap! I did I actually do a wrong turn? Yes, I did. Should, this shouldn't be the turn that I'm making. Stop complaining, passengers. Stop complaining, your bus driver got lost. <laughs> Just climbing the curb here. No harm, no foul. The bus does not agree. Nope. 
nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's do that again. <clears throat> what was I saying a while ago? Of course, I forgot. Uh, let me try. No, I forgot. Completely lost my train of thought. The way I got lost there. That's okay. We can enjoy the journey as we go. The variety of buildings in this map. It's just so nice. You never know what you're getting until you make that turn. Alright, here we go. This one looks good. Alright. Come in, come in, guys. Sorry, we're just a tad late. Just nine minutes late. <laughs> and it's building up. <laughs> Okay, looking good there. Yeah, I wish there was an option to make it not as strict. Right now, it's too realistic for my taste. Because yes, I want to get the feel of being a bus driver, but I don't want the same pressures. Otherwise, there's no time anymore for sightseeing. You know, you can't enjoy the sceneries anymore. You just have to go as fast as you can, almost drag passengers behind just to make it to the timetable and uh, that might be realistic but it's not a fun way for me personally because I'm more of the chill touring kind of guy so I, I wish there was like a an, a mode you know chill mode or realistic mode something like that maybe that can be added later on I'm sure it would be or maybe just a way to modify the routes, create your own routes, or set your own times. So right now, I think everything is uh, controlled by the server. So the list of available routes and their specific timetables are controlled by the server. So that is a fixed thing, and they they are the only ones who can update it. The Dbus World Team. But if they can allow people to make routes of their own, that would be great. Not sure how complex that can be though, but I'm sure they'll find a way. It's a great looking cathedral here. So many different buildings in this and you get to tour each one thanks to this bus mod. Okay. Nine minutes late still, that's actually an achievement for me. 52 passengers now, guys. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's heavy. 52 passengers, a bit uphill. A bit heavy, although I don't think that's getting simulated anyway. I don't, I doubt it. That would be great, but yeah, I think we have some limitations in the SDK as well that uh, he will stop in front of me because he's a great guy okay so yeah i don't think the sdk the app can actually synchronize or add weights to the truck that would be great huh as passengers come aboard even if they're not actually physically getting on board you don't see them you can imagine that's fine but i wish you could see your bus actually getting heavier you know the suspension changing and you feel the weight as more as more of these passengers come aboard so the passenger count stands for something other than just like not nice to know it's actually a, a gameplay element in there that would be great for future improvement but yeah i think that all relies on how flexible how capable the SDK can be because SDK that one is provided by SES themselves so they have to support these features for the third party developers to make use of them and if they don't support that then the third party devs hands are tied basically okay we have governor Av here I'm not sure where the bus stop is. Anyone see? Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Okay, there it is. There it is. No problem. Pretty straightforward. Alright.
Good. Good. 10 minute delay. Just keeps climbing up. Man, the guys who put the timetables here are pretty ruthless drivers, huh? Just pedal to the metal every time. Really rushing. Which I guess pretty realistic when you look at how real bus drivers do it. So I guess if you want realism, then you can't really complain. Oh my goodness, bridge shot. Can't even do a bridge shot. Because <laughs> we're rushing. Stay on the inner lane here. Going around that roundabout. Rudy Misandre. Isn't that a person? A character in Game of Thrones? Probably a different one, huh? There we go. Bus stop should be right somewhere there. I hope I didn't get lost here. Okay, there it is. Okay, no problem, no problem. We saw it. Nice bridge. Only for pedestrians, though. I would have taken a shot there. Good. Hurry, hurry. Ten minutes late. Okay, second to the last bus stop here, guys. So, so much in a hurry. I'm actually moving before the, the doors close. <laughs> Hang tight, everyone. We're in a bit of a rush. Um, how do we even pronounce that? Enwa? Probably. Yeah, I think this is where we got cut off already. You see, there's no route anymore. Because the, the route planner, I think that was what I was mentioning a while ago. The route can only accept up to 10 waypoints in the map, right? So after 10 waypoints, putting that in the map manually, you're out. You cannot put in any more. I think that's the bus stop. Yeah, looks like it. So after 10, you're, it's the limit. You have to go through some of the bus stops, remove some of the waypoints, and then you can add some more. But at a certain point, you can only have 10. This particular route, I think, has how many? 23 bus stops, so quite challenging. All right. Go, go, go. Hurry, guys. Nine minutes late. Oh, we actually caught up on time a bit. Just a tad, first time. The delay actually got less. One second. So the last bus stop should be this one. Yeah, this is where we're stopping, I think. Where is that? Probably not how you pronounce it, but let me be. There we go. Uh, something like that, most probably, based on the map I'm seeing. I think. I'm not so sure, though. I'm not so sure. No, 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 no. There you go. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. All right. So the map, I will leave a link in the video description. So you guys can refer to it as well. That's how you can set your route up. You're turning right? Yes, you are. Thank you. Right. On to the last stop, guys. And uh, we might have been late, but at least if we can arrive at all, I'd be happy enough already. Off we go. This sound though really sounds like OMSI, huh? <laughs> really gives you the OMSI vibe. The only thing missing, I guess, are the, the shaking sounds. You know, as the bus drives, you get that shaking 
cabin sound of the different handles and the different uh, attachments on the bus they all kind of clunk as you drive that adds so much and yeah if you don't have them like this like what you're not hearing right now it's a bit lacking in that sense i'm not sure how that can be added but that would be great So far, so good. Following the route here. Alright. And you know what? After this trip, I think it would be nice if we can take a look at the timetable, the log itself. So, I'll try and see if I can show that to you, how I can manage. But, we'll find a way, okay? So, after this trip, I'll show you the timetable. guys good no problem there might not have been the best way to go around the roundabout let's make it the correct one this time stay on the outer lane here beautiful but yeah the physics on this bus the handling is very nice solid together with the force feedback plugin for my G27 feels so stable all right now we can get some speed in and yeah the optimization on this map especially on these newer areas in the utopia region so good strong when you turn on the retarder it just slows you down like crazy don't even need brakes anymore with that level of retarder good nice roundabout here this area before kind of vaguely remember that interesting looking roundabout not so sure though it might have been a different map but i like it i like those different layouts and with all the series that we've driven through today my goodness it's going to be so hard to pick which thumbnails i will be using which pictures i will be using for my thumbnail Everything just looks so good. Alright, there it is. The last bus stop. I see it in the map, in the GPS. I'm trying to spot it in front. Yes, that's the one. Great. Alright. Awesome stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed that trip. We're just 10 minutes late. Look at that. Not too bad. Yeah, oh, look at all the people waiting. They don't look happy. Bus 10 minutes late. I know I would be a bit pissed. Alright, good. Okay, everybody. Outgoing 55 people. Nice 10 minute delay. That's fine. Drive done. There we go. Awesome. Let's close the door. And I'll see you guys in the log, okay? Let's turn this thing off. Is this a bus terminal? No, it's not. So I'll see you guys in the log screen. Catch you in a bit. All right, here we are. So the log, we actually took in a total of 161 passengers, 23 kilometers, 23 bus stops, profit 8,050 euros. Oh, there's actually money in here. Nice. Cool. We have a private message. How does that work? Okay. Uh, but yes, you can see all the stops here. Delay, negative one, zero, one minute, one minute, three minutes. Yeah, most of the time we were just starting to... Yeah, the, <laughs> the delay just got bigger and bigger all the way until 10 minutes at the end. Cool stuff. Well, if you guys want to join the company, feel free. Company profile. Here we go. 
I'll leave a link in the video description as well. I think I'll have to approve that to accept this, to accept any applicants. But yeah, see you there. Catch you in the next episodes, guys. Clumsy trucking, or should I say clumsy busing now? <laughs> anyway, bye-bye. Thank you.